Java Balls! Hello! Hi there! This is a, gonna, a video about how to uh, do some hand painting. All of my rhinos have a, some beautiful hand painted work. And this one is my newest rhino that I'm painting to use over at Bell of Lost Souls Con. So, uh, I got the rhino up to a basic painting level. Um, a wash and a, a quick uh, scumbled highlight on the edges. And now I'm going to show you how I do uh, some hand painting work. I was playing Dawn of War 2 and I found a really beautiful image of a double headed eagle, the Imperial uh, insignia, and I wanted to use it. Here's the image right here. Um, I did a print screen on my computer. Right? It's the uh, print screen button. And then when you find an image you want to use, especially like in a game, pause the game, uh, print screen, then you can go to window or paint. And open up uh, paint from the accessories uh, section of your start menu. And uh, hit paste into paint. And then you'll get your, your whole screen. Then file and save it. And what I did then was open up Photoshop and uh, use Photoshop to edit the image, uh, enlarging it, cropping it, getting it the right size. And after several printing attempts uh, and decreasing the image size, I managed to get uh, this image right here reduced to the proper size to paint on top of my rhino here. Like so. So now it's time to do a little tracing. Now that I have my image here. Make sure I have it the way I want it. That's about fine. I'm going to paint the skull here in the middle, in case you're curious, in that circular area. So I have it set the way I want it. Now I need to find a pencil. Where's my pencils? My kingdom for a pencil. Hold on, let me stand up for a second and grab a nice new clicky pencil from my clicky pencil dispenser. Okay. So I use an X-Acto blade to cut out the image uh, exactly the way I want it. Now I'll arrange it and start tracing this sucker. I'm only going to trace the silhouette, then I will hand paint the feathers. Do not go all the way around in case your hand slips. Do one side, then the other a little bit, then work your way down both sides. I'm not exact on this because I like to make it my own anyway. And I, I'm sure I will uh, change and modify this as I paint. This is just to get myself a nice symmetrical design on the top of my rhino. I will pull this sucker off, fill in some of the lines here that need filling. There you go, now you can see I've got an outline of my eagle. And now I will go in and do some hand drawing here to fill in the rest. A 
why? I don't know. Maybe just to kind of practice, because I'm going to paint over this whole thing with black. Maybe just to get an idea about depth and scale and reference and blah, 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 blah. Big words. Um... Not much to say, but I work on my drawing. Alright. Uh, yeah, it'll look cool. It's gonna work. It'll work fine. Okay. So, now I've got some time and I'm going to go and get my chaos black and lay in the black silhouette here I'll get it started for you I use black because it's my base color and it's easiest to shade up from black black is my base coat then i can add uh shadows and, and paint up from it so i prefer to paint on black all right well let me come back and i'll show you what i got in a few